Um, it gives me great pleasure to present Dr. Marwan Al-Halabi from Damascus University. He is president elect of the Federation of Arab Societies of Oxygenia. And he's going to give us a talk on evidence-based management of recurrent implantation failure. Dr. Marwan. Uh, good evening, uh, everyone. Uh, firstly, I would like to thank the organizing committee for inviting me to be with you in this virtual uh, conference, uh, hoping next year to be held in Abu Dhabi. Uh, and special thank thanks for uh, my dear friends, Professor Saadun Saadun and uh, Dr. Jalal Al Sharif. Uh, I would like to talk about uh, evidence based management of recurrent implantation failure. Uh, no conflict of interest. The outlines of my presentation include a uh, definition uh, of uh, recurrent implantation uh, failure, uh, risk factors, investigations, uh, treatment, and uh, conclusion. Uh, our objective is uh, to review the evidence randomized control trial and meta-analysis concerning the best practice in contemporary recurrent implantation failure in IVF, depending on Canadian guideline 2020 and uh, other uh, evidence-based medicine resources. The strength of recommendation were classified into three grades. Uh, grade S or strong, uh, when uh, there is a good evidence to support the recommendation either for or against uh, grade C or conditional uh, when there is fair evidence to support the recommendation either for or against and uh, GPP or good practice point uh, based on the clinical experience of the guideline uh, development uh, group. Uh, implantation, uh, as you know, is the process of the embryo embedding into the endometrium uh, to produce a pregnancy. And implantation is considered successfully when uh, there is uh, ultrasonographic evidence of intrauterine pregnancy or intrauterine gestational uh, sac. Uh, so, implantation failure is failure to reach a stage in which there is ultrasonographic evidence of intrauterine pregnancy. Now, what about the definition of uh, recurrent implantation failure, which was uh, uh, at uh, 2013 as three consecutive embryo transfer of at least four good quality embryos in a woman under the age of 40 years. Uh, then uh, uh, in 2014, uh, it was defined as two consecutive embryo transfer of at least four good quality cleavage stage uh, embryos uh, or two good quality blastocysts by Polanski. Uh, and uh, finally, or the final definition from 2020. Uh, was uh, uh, the absence of a positive uh, pregnancy test after three consecutive embryo transfer of good quality embryos. Uh, as you know, the implantation depends on three factors, embryo quality, uh, endometrial receptivity, and transfer uh, efficiency. Uh, so who is responsible for the problem, embryologist, uh, patients, or uh, clinician. Uh, we start by the role of hysteroscopy in KVT assessment. There is a strong evidence that in RIF uh, patients with a normal baseline ultrasound, the routine use of hysteroscopy is not recommended. Uh, this was based on a well-conducted multi-center randomized control trial comparing hysteroscopy with no hysteroscopy in women with RIF, which showed no difference in live birth rate. Uh, 
What about thrombophilia testing? Uh, there's a strong evidence that testing for inherited or acquired thrombophilia in patients with a recurrent implantation failure is not recommended because uh, of there is insufficient evidence that either inherited or acquired thrombophilia are increased in RIF patients. Uh, now, what about the immunological testing? There's a strong evidence that serological uh, or endometrial immune testing in recurrent implantation failure uh, patients should uh, be limited to research uh, setting uh, because of observational studies with multiple immunological profiles were tested uh, and uh, not yet applicable to clinical practice. Now, uh, karyotype testing may be offered uh, to couples with uh, recurrent implantation failure based on observational studies suggest uh, that couples with uh, recurrent implantation failure may, may have a slightly higher rate of chromosomal, chromosomal anomalies than fertile couples. Now, uh, what uh, about uh, sperm DNA fragmentation testing, uh, which should not be routinely offered in recurrent implantation failure based on small observational studies showed that high sperm DFI was not correlated to uh, RIF. Now, what the role uh, of uh, chronic endometritis. Uh, there's a conditional evidence that screening for chronic endometritis should not be routinely offered in uh, uh, recurrent implantation failure. This, this decision was based on small locality heterogeneous observational studies and uh, a lack of consensus diagnostic criteria for chronic endometritis. Uh, and uh, what about uh, endometrial receptivity array? Uh, there's a uh, strong evidence that the use of endometrial receptivity array in recurrent implantation failure patients should be limited to research setting. There's currently no evidence that endometrial receptivity array improve clinical outcomes in RIF. Now, uh, pre-implantation genetic testing for aneuploidies. Uh, strong evidence uh, that uh, there are insufficient uh, data to, rec to recommend for or against uh, uh, pre-implantation genetic testing for recurrent implantation uh, failure. Uh, the studies are few in number uh, and small with respect to sample size, there are no randomized control trial da data uh, available. Uh, now, what about endometrial injury or scratching in women with RIF? Uh, there's a strong evidence that endometrial injury in the uh, cycle preceding the embryo transfer should not be routinely offered in RIF. Results uh, from two well-designed uh, randomized control trial uh, and pooled uh, results from randomized control trial published in uh, New England Journal of Medicine reporting on live birth rate show no benefit of endometrial injury. And uh, about the role uh, of anticoagulant in the management of RIF, uh, the studies uh, are few. Uh, population studies are heterogeneous and study results are uh, inconsistent. So the, there's a conditional evidence that empirical low molecular weight heparin for recurrent implantation failure patients uh, should be limited to research uh, setting. Uh, and finally, uh, what about the role uh, of immune therapy? Uh, there is a strong evidence that the use of immunotherapy, uh, intralipid, uh, uh, glucocorticosteroid, uh, 
uh, and granulocyte uh, colon stimulating factor in recurrent implantation failure uh, should be limited to research uh, settings. Uh, we reach uh, the evidence based uh, recommendations, ladies and gentlemen. To understand the recommendations, we use traffic light rating red uh, when no evidence to show that it's uh, effective and safe and uh, should not be conducted. Uh, amber uh, when conflicting evidence to add on uh, further research is required uh, and green uh, when there's uh, good evidence uh, more than randomized controlled trial, which show that the procedure is effective and safe. We start with uh, endometrial investigations. Uh, what about 3D ultrasound? Uh, uh, green and should be conducted. Uh, screening hysteroscopy or use of hysteroscopy in the absence of suspected uterine pathology uh, should not be conducted uh, routinely. Uh, uh, error test, uh, conflicting uh, evidence, and microbiome testing should not be conducted. Uh, and about immunological investigation, but about uterine natural killer cells, conflicting evidence, amber, and uh, uh, peripheral natural killer cells, uh, com conflicting evidence, uh, uterine cytokines and peripheral cytokines should not be conducted, and HLA in uh, compatibility uh, testing should not be, uh, should not be uh, this study of mine published in uh, Fertility and Sterility uh, showed that uh, natural killer cells and activation marker CD69 may have a role in implantation uh, failure. And what about uh, thrombophilia? Uh, Antiphosphate antibody uh, may uh, be beneficial, uh, amber. Uh, congenital thrombophilia should not be uh, conducted and uh, homocysteine should not be conducted. And about the investigations for gametes, uh, sperm and employee testing uh, AMBER, uh, the sperm DNA fragmentation index may be beneficial, uh, sperm epigenetics should not be conducted. Uh, or red, and uh, finally, computer assisted sperm analyzer uh, should not be. And what about uh, endocrine investigations uh, as TSH, uh, which uh, is uh, beneficial, green, and should be uh, conducted? Uh, anti thyroid antibodies as uh, thyroid microsomal and thyro. Globulin uh, may be beneficial, uh, conflicting evidence. Prolactin should not be conducted in absence of symptoms. Uh, and finally, antimalarian hormone uh, may be beneficial. Uh, Karyotype uh, beneficial and should be conducted. Uh, screening for chronic endometritis should not be uh, conducted. Uh, serological immune testing, uh, red and uh, should not be uh, conducted. And finally, uh, endometrial immune testing, uh, red and should not be uh, conducted. Uh, and about the treatment, uh, polypectomy should be done. Uh, myomectomy of submocus uh, fibroid should be done also. Uh, fibroid not distorting uterine cavity may be beneficial uh, amber. Uh, septoplasty or septal resection uh, amber or maybe uh, beneficial. 
لو مولكولار ويت هيبرين كونفليكتنج ايفيدنس سلدينا فيل شود نوت بي يوزد جرانيور سايت كولون ستيموليتنج فاكتور كونفليكتنج ايفيدنس مي بي بينيفيشال اسبرين شود نوت بي يوزد اند فاينالي بي ار بي ان ذا يوترين كيفيتي بيفور امبريو ترانسفير مي بي beneficial uh, we presented this pilot study about autologous uh, intrauterine platelet rich plasma installation for recurrent implantation failure uh, and we found that it may uh, be uh, beneficial uh, endometrial scratching or injury should not be uh, done Uh, corticosteroid uh, conflicting evidence uh, intravenous immunoglobulin or IVIG uh, should not be conducted intralipid uh, red and should not be conducted uh, this study published in human reproduction 2011 uh, genetic counseling Uh, should be conducted uh, antioxidant uh, red uh, MC uh, uh, intracytoplasmic morphology selective sperm injection or PICSI should not be conducted uh, and uh, sperm retrieval in absence of azospermia should not be conducted blastocyst transfer uh, amber uh, conflicting evidence uh, assisted hatching uh, red and should not be uh, conducted uh, assisted hatching may improve clinical pregnancy rate with uh, ref but in the absence of data on live birth rate uh, pre-implantation genetic uh, testing for aneuploidy uh, conflicting uh, data conflicting evidence uh, embryos uh, embryoscope red and should not be uh, conducted now what about lifestyle modification as smoking cessation uh, which is uh, green and should be conducted uh, optimizing weight uh, also uh, green and vitamin d uh, supplementation should be uh, conducted uh, treatment of subclinical hypothyroidism uh, green uh, treatment of hyperprolactinemia uh, also green uh, salpingectomy when hydrosalpins uh, is present green uh, freeze all conflicting evidence or amber now what about embryo transfer uh, abdominal ultrasound guidance green Uh, of course, uh, removal of cervical mucus may be beneficial. Use, use of uh, soft embryo transfer uh, should be conducted and use of tenaculum uh, conflicting evidence. Uh, sequential embryo transfer, uh, red and should not be conducted. Powdered gloves, uh, conflicting evidence. Uh, embryo glue conflicting evidence uh, specific injection speed uh, uh, green uh, catheter tip about 10 millimeter from the fundus uh, green uh, prophylactic antibiotics uh, red and should not be uh, used a bed rest after embryo Uh, transfer should not be conducted for bladder uh, green and finally uh, what your brain doesn't know your eyes cannot see and uh, thank you so much uh, for your attention